Hello, this is Virgil Labrador, Editor-in-Chief of Satellite Markets and Research, and we're here in Communic Asia 2013 in Singapore with Leslie Klein. He's the uh, founder and CEO of uh, Seacom Satellite Systems. It's an Ottawa-based, uh, Ottawa-Canada-based uh, company. And uh, here to talk about his company, which has been, uh, which has been uh, enjoying some uh, some success recently, uh, Leslie, uh, you, you uh, just posted your eighth straight year of uh, profitability. That's correct. And your stock prices have gone up 400% in a year's time. Something like that. Uh, what do you attribute the uh, success of your company, uh, Leslie? Well, the, um, the success I attribute to the products that we manufacture. These are the iNetView antenna systems that have been uh, very well, uh, very well received all over the world. We have uh, about 6,000 of them deployed around the world, and most of our customers are repeat customers. So mm -hmm. uh, our uh, success is really in the fact that we manufacture a very high quality, very reliable, uh, cost-effective product that sells all over the world and has uh, received extremely high uh, worldwide acceptance. Right, right. Now, now, uh, uh, Leslie, you also have no debt, right? That's correct. And uh, and also, and we don't borrow money either. <laughs> right. right. So, so this is a this is a really amazing uh, uh, feat that you you've done, and then you've just elaborated on it. Uh, but do you think this is a sustainable thing, or uh, I mean, that kind of growth in your company? Well, the the growth may may not be sustainable at the at at a, at a very high rate, but if you look at our last. Uh, quarter uh, results, for example, uh, uh, you can see a substantial growth and it's organic growth. It's, uh, it's not growth by acquisition or, or by some other means. It's mm -hmm. an organic growth that happens as a result of manufacturing uh, 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 antenna systems that are really uh, w well uh, received around the world. They are in great demand and uh, customers appreciate having a product that works for them so they keep buying it. Uh, the um, the company ha is managed in a in a way that we keep it very small. We don't manufacture anything; everything is outsourced. Mm -hmm. We design our own products, mm -hmm. but we don't actually have 200 people manufacturing anything for us. Mm -hmm. We have Canadian companies uh, about two kilometers from us mm -hmm. who are actually manufacturing the antennas for us. So we have a very small number of very highly dedicated people who are doing a fantastic job in delivering uh, better and better products uh, from year to year and it actually uh, is reflected in our profitability and in our ability to grow fairly fairly well. Right. Now Leslie, you're also uh, uh, launching uh, your uh, new line of uh, KA band the flyaway uh, products here at the show, right? Yes. So talk about that. Um, as you know, uh, KA band has uh, become a, a very important uh, um, product in, uh, in the satellite marketplace. Almost everybody is uh, uh, jumping on the bandwagon. They are all delivering uh, new K-band satellites. And we have been working on uh, K-band antennas for the past two years. And we're uh, one of the first in the world, actually, who have received the approval from Viasat, Utelsat, mm -hmm. uh, Yasat. Mm -hmm. And we have had uh, antennas now working with, with Gilat and Avanti uh, mm -hmm. uh, services. Mm -hmm. And uh, we believe that uh, the flyaway antennas that we are introducing here at the show will uh, will be in great demand because they are very attractively priced. They are easily assembled, mm -hmm. easily portable, mm -hmm. and deliver a tremendous amount of bandwidth at a very reasonable cost to uh, the customer. Right. So uh, you mentioned Avanti, and so it's being used now in uh, Europe, Middle East, and Africa. That's correct. Uh, we have uh, systems now uh, with uh, Yasat in the Middle East and Africa. Mm -hmm. We have. Uh, probably more than a hundred or may maybe more systems in Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, quite a number of them is TV stations in North America. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are uh, waiting for other satellites to come up so that we can offer these antennas in places where KA band services are going to be delivered. Right, right. Now, uh, there's, I, as far as I know, there's no new KA band satellites that are planned for the, specifically for this Asian market, Southeast Asia. And, so far, uh, yes. What do you think of the future of the, the K band technology in this part of the world? I think there is. A, I heard from somebody that uh, they just bought a 
4.5 meter antenna for KA band. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm not sure it's an Asian company, but I'm not sure if the service is going to be in Asia or will be positioned uh, in the Middle East or Africa. But uh, I think ultimately the service will reach uh, Asia. Mm -hmm. And it is very important because this is an enormously large market. Mm -hmm. And uh, I believe that KA would have a, a very large effect on the uh, on the acceptability of satellite in this area for uh, for customers who are looking for this type of services. Well, finally, Leslie, what else can we expect from Seacom in the next year or so? Yeah. I mean, uh, we are working on a multiple number of flyaway antennas mm -hmm. for the uh, 75 centimeter, 98 centimeter, mm -hmm. 1.2 meter KA band marketplace, mm -hmm. and uh, we are also. Uh, working on a number of modems to integrate with our existing KU band antennas. And we feel that there is a long way to go before uh, we can uh, say that we have covered all of the markets that uh, these antennas are required for. And look forward to new challenges from uh, satellite operators who are putting up new, and new satellite services. And uh, hopefully we will see many of our antennas uh, with their services around the world. Well, thank you, Leslie. Yeah, lots thank to you. look forward to. And uh, for all the news and information on the global satellite industry, you always have satellite markets and research at www.satellitemarkets.com.